Following 12 months of preparation and trial run, the first historical archives of China is opening its new venue to the general public. People can access the institution's website and WeChat account to book a ticket to explore the treasured documents and files from the imperial era. Is housed in a building 45 meters tall. Apart from an exhibition space, it also serves as a facility for academic research and the preservation and restoration of historical documents. With the opening, four exhibitions have been launched to showcase the highlights in its collection. They include topographical maps and star charts created in the 17th century, as well as specially constructed chests and cabinets. The first historical archives of China houses more than 10 million items of files from the Ming and Qing dynasties, which ruled China from the late 14th century to the early 20th century. Nearly half of them have been made accessible for public viewing. In Yungang Grottles in Datong, North China, Shanxi province, the artworks there are also telling stories of its own. In 2001, it was inscribed on the UNESCO World Cultural Heritage List, and just recently, Cave No. 5, where the largest Buddhist statue is situated, reopened after a facility upgrade. And of course, technology and digitization are key in helping preserve this cultural treasure. With the help of Chinese universities and institutes, the Yungang Grottoes Research Academy has been exploring digital technologies for the conservation, research, management, and exhibition of the Yungang Grottoes, which have a history of over 1,500 years. To prevent the damage and impact of weather changes, sensors placed in the caves collect and transmit real-time data to the monitoring center so that there is no need for researchers to be on site. We need to take roughly a thousand photographs from multiple angles to obtain three-dimensional data from this statue. The amount of data is very large. The digitization process of the Yungang Grottoes began in 2003. A supercomputing center established in 2021 is capable of performing 234 trillion calculations per second significantly improving the efficiency of digital acquisition. The Yungang Grottoes are regarded as a treasure trove of ancient Chinese sculpture art. Among them, Cave 12, located in the central area, records the grand musical performances in ancient China. The carved figures of musicians in both Chinese and foreign instruments show the court music and dance scenes in the Northern Wei Dynasty. It is called the Cave of Music due to its diverse representation of music and ji yue. Its forms of expression are particularly rich. In terms of music history, it also shows the exchange of music between the East and West in that era. Through 3D laser scanning, modeling, and printing, a one-to-one -one ratio replica of Cave 12 was produced. The replicated grotto consists of more than 1,300 printed modules that can be assembled and disassembled like building blocks thanks to the three-dimensional digital archive. This is the 3D printing material. It's very light. The surface area of the whole color painting is very large, exceeding 900 square meters. 3D printing technology allows more people to access and appreciate the beauty of the Yungang Grottoes. The replicas will tour the country and even head overseas for exhibitions. Digitization techniques are imperative in preserving world heritage sites. For example, the interior and exterior of the Notre Dame de Paris has been digitally mapped before the sudden fire in 2019, effectively helping with the cathedral's restoration work. There's great potential in the future of digitization in virtual cave replication and restoration. Rachel Weiss, 